It really goes to the heart of both my thought process and what this company has done um, in the last 25 years. We're in a city in which it is the most competitive environment in the world. You're operating with, um, in an environment where there are large family businesses that have been um, in operation for generations, where you have institutional developers. There's no lack of capital. There's no lack of intellectual capital. So the, the principal differentiator that I've tried to bring to the process over 20 years or 25 years is intellectual capital. It, it really started in, at the end of the 70s and the beginning of the 80s um, New York had historically been a city of renters. Um, if you look at virtually all of the real estate that was developed between 1960 and the end of the 70s, they were residential rental buildings. And those residential rental buildings were typically built in lines. The lines were vertical. There was a line of studios and a line of ones. And the reason for that was it was the most efficient, i.e., cost-effective way to build things. You put the kitchens and the bathrooms stacking one on top of one another, and that was that cost less money. When I realized that residential rents had risen rather dramatically in the late 70s, I thought there was an opportunity to do condominiums. Um, and there really were no condominiums in New York. The typical for sale housing in, the, in that period were co-ops, and those co-ops were typically on Park Avenue or Fifth Avenue. And those co-ops were not something that either corporations could buy, they were not something that foreigners could buy. Um, they posed uh, substantial uh, barriers to entry for people because of board requirements, etc. So I came with, in 1980, the first of the condominium developments, and the, one of the keys to that was rather than to build a line of apartments because the value really was to put smaller apartments at the bottom of the building, medium-sized apartments at the middle of the building, and your most valuable or largest units at the top of the building. So that really created a completely different paradigm in terms of a thought process.